Hey everyone, uh, thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be making um, spaghetti. I'm going to show you guys how I make my spaghetti. So if you want, you can watch. Um, come along and watch um, how I make my spaghetti. And I'm also going to make um, a homemade garlic bread. Um, so first I'm going to start by opening up my hamburger. This is the hamburger that I use, the ground beef. I just cut it open. And then I'll put the meat inside this pot. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop up my hamburger. Hopefully you can see this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings. Season all, or in season all. Badia's complete seasoning. Morton's Nature Seasoning. Black pepper. Okay. And some salt. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, mix up my meat with my seasonings. And when I chop my meat, I know I said this before, but I like to chop my meat well. I don't like big chunks of meat. So while my um, hamburger is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these diced onions, if you can see. Um, I already diced the onions up, so I'm going to add that into my hamburger. Um, and then once I add my diced onions, I'm going to um, slice these up, maybe uh, half, halves, like that, or um, in fours. Um, and I'm going to cook them a little bit and then I'm going to add them into my hamburger meat. So. Now 
Just mixing this meat up. Let the onions cook down. You know, I like to chop my meat. Make sure there's no big, no extra big chunks. I like all my meat to be well done. So now I'm going to dice the smoked beef sausage. So usually what I do Hopefully you can see. I'm gonna just And then, so you see I cut them up. So then what I'll do is I'll slice them again. So that they're not too big. I don't want to be it. I don't want to be it. I don't want it to be overwhelming um, inside of the spaghetti. So now I'm just adding the sausage to the pan. I forgot one. Let them fry up. And add more. So I toss it a little. This is what the sausage is looking like that I fry up, the beef sausage. And I just toss it around so all sides can cook. So now, uh, right now I'm getting ready to um, cook my noodles. Um, so I'm going to season my water with one packet of chicken bouillon, Goya chicken bouillon, um, so that my noodles could be flavorful. So I'll just actually, I usually add some salt to my water first. Salt helps the water boil. Um, which is pretty hot. Um, then I'm going to add this chicken boy into the water. Just one pack. Um, these are the spaghetti noodles that I use. The Barilla spaghetti noodles. I actually use these noodles for a lot of things. When I use noodles, I use the Barilla. They're really good. It's a really good brand.
So, for my family, I only cook one pack of noodles because my family's not big. It's just four of us. And even though I'm only cooking one pack, it's still going to be a lot of food. It's going to last us a couple of days. So I'll just leave my noodles like this for a little bit because once they start cooking, they'll start, uh, I would call it, I guess, like shrinking into the pot. So it's okay that they're like this for now. So once they get a little more cooked, they'll, they'll all be into the water shortly. If you can see right now, um, my noodles are actually like down in the pot now. They actually all fell down. So they're going to cook for a few minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's done cooking. So now what I'm going to do is um, I have this Italian bread here um, that I'm going to cut and then I'm going to butter the bread. This is going to be my garlic bread. So I'm gonna cut it. I don't know what side to cut it from. I'm gonna cut it from this side here. I'm just gonna cut it down the middle. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut it. I'm just going to open it up. And this is what my bread looks like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, garlic spread. It's a garlic spread. It's like a, it's a butter. Um, with everything in it that you need to make your own garlic bread. So... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to Put this all over my bread. And my kids, they love when the bread is buttery and I do as well. I like to get all parts of the bread buttered. eventually of course I'm going to put this in the oven and let it toast and then of course I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards And next what I do is I take this Parmesan cheese because our bread is going to be garlic bread but it's going to be a cheesy garlic bread, uh, Parmesan garlic bread. So what I'll do is I'll just sprinkle this uh, Parmesan cheese here, I'll sprinkle this onto the bread. Just like that. Sorry if I'm making a mess. I'll get it cleaned up as soon as I'm done. And this is what my garlic bread looks like. This is what my bread looks like before it's cooked. Then I'll show you guys what it looks like after it's done cooking. I just want to show you guys this is what the garlic spread looks like um, that I'm using for my garlic bread. Sorry, 
I didn't show you before I started using it. But yes, this is a garlic spread. Um, I only paid two dollars and sixty nine cents for it um, at Giant, um, and it says garlic garlic spread on it. Garlic spread. And yeah, that's what I use. And when I make my garlic bread, I just put it on a piece of aluminum foil. Um, I like the shiny side up so that uh, nothing sticks, which hopefully shouldn't stick. But I like the shiny side up. Um, the shiny side up. So I just put it right there like that. Like that. And I'll go ahead and put that in the oven. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's finished. I wanted to show you guys what my noodles is looking like. My noodles are just about done. Um, just been letting them cook. They're looking pretty good. You know. Let them cook down. Next what I'll do is I'll drain my noodles. And then after that, I'll get the mix and everything. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually... Uh, pour some of my spaghetti sauce into my meat. So I'm going to start with uh, the traditional flavor spaghetti sauce. I'm going to pour some in. And then what I'm going to do is pour some of my noodles in. So it's meat, sauce, Noodles. My noodles in. Put noodles in. I'll add some more sauce, which is actually going to be the tomato, basil, tomato, basil, garlic sauce. That's what I'm going to add next. And I'm going to pour some of that on top. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of that good beef sausage that I fried up. This is the beef sausage. I'm going to add that in. So I'm going to add all that in. Okay, if it has a little bit of grease, that's all right. Then I'm going to add some more sauce. This time it's going to be a three cheese sauce. Hopefully you can see that. Three cheese. Put that in. And sorry, I like... I like my um, spaghetti. Anything with sauce, I really like a lot of sauce. Like if it's pizza, if it's spaghetti, if it's meatballs. It doesn't matter. Anything that's supposed to have sauce, I like a lot of sauce. I like to taste the sauce. So, I'm going to add more noodles. I'm going to stop there because what I'm going to do is now I'm going to mix it. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Now my spaghetti already has onions because I made my hamburger with onions. So it does already have onions and I'm going to add more noodles. Looks like, uh oh, looks like it's going to need more sauce as well. It's just not saucy enough for me.
I'm gonna go ahead and add some more traditional. I really like the traditional flavor of spaghetti sauce. A little bit more tomato basil. That one's really good. It has a lot of flavor. So now I'm gonna take these tongues and kind of mix it in a little bit. And I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see, but right now I still do have my stove on because I need this spaghetti to like um, simmer for a while on low, you know, cook. You don't want to just serve your family spaghetti just like this. You want the flavors to get into the noodles. So I'll just let that simmer for a while. And I have my um, garlic bread cooking right now anyways. A little bit more of the three cheese. And of course, you can't forget the sugar. A lot of extra sugar to the spaghetti. has a lot of sauce and this is looking really good to me but I think it needs the last little bit of noodles and that's all the noodles Just doing this to kind of mix it up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the spaghetti cook for a while. I'm just going to put the lid on top. Actually, let me zoom in for you guys a little bit so you can see what it's looking like up close. Zoom in. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what my spaghetti is looking like. You can see the um, sausage. So I have to show you the garlic bread. The garlic bread came out kind of dark, so, but it's still edible. We're still going to eat it, but I have to show you guys what the garlic bread looks like so here is a better look of the garlic bread hopefully you can see it this is the garlic bread that's what my garlic bread looks like what my garlic bread looks like. It'll be pretty good. And then when that uh, spaghetti is just about done, I'll show you guys what um, the spaghetti and the garlic bread looks like. What it looks like together. Okay. So this is the end result of the spaghetti. You can see. Yep, this is the end result of a spaghetti. Um, let's spin it around. I'll just do a little bit of. Well. And thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the dish. Let me know if you tried the dish. And again, thanks for watching. Here's spaghetti with a piece of the garlic bread. Oh, 
Hopefully you use like my recipe that I use. 